This story is about a magician. The main character has just moved into a new town with his mom, and as he was emptying his trash, the female character came to flirt with him. Hey, when I go to a mystery place and play some adult mystery game? The male character got rather excited, he likes playing games with strangers, therefore they went through the forests and there was an abandoned park. So they sat through a roller coaster and they went back. Wait, what about the adult mystery game? But the female's character's father greeted them at his home and asked the male character to keep a distance with his daughter. At night, the male character heard female character fighting with her dad and there's even a little bit of shouting, so he ran out to rescue the damsel in distress. The father showed up and said that there's already a lot of idiots in this world, please don't be another one. So having his male ego burn, he called the police to report the fight. Hey, there's domestic violence next door. So two highly efficient police appeared and the father said, it's just a movie. So the police arrested the male character for lodging dumb reports and the mother is a principal so she begged for forgiveness and ta-da, forgiveness is granted. So make sure you are born into a smart family. But the male character's ego is still charged so he got his buddy to break into the house and rescue the damsel in distress. The male character is such a master at lock picking that I wonder whether his other profession is a lawyer. Once they entered, the male character saw a lot of books that's locked up, and to exert his dominance and impress the female character, he also unlocked another book. This was when the female character appeared and the male character said, hey, I'm here to rescue you, but instead of being rescued, the female character wanted to close the book off immediately. But it's a little too late and a giant yeti climbed out of the book and jumped out of the house. The female character took the book and ran towards the yeti and the male character followed along. They followed the Yeti's footsteps and entered a sports stadium. The male character was very afraid so he kept asking the female character to leave with him but the female character just don't understand why such an idiot can become a main character. She wanted to open the book and suck the Yeti back in but Yeti used the power of slap and the book flew away. Just when the Yeti is about to slap the rest of them to Mars, the father took the book and sucked the Yeti back. So. The father drove this bunch of dumb kids back home and explained that he was a famous fiction writer. He used to write stories to scare all his bullies away but now they become real and it became an actual nightmare. Which is why he locked all these books up and came to this small town. Which is such a waste. Imagine if he just write a story about Pikachu and we will solve electricity problem or even solve world hunger issue. They went back home and realized as Yeti destroyed their house, a few books were flipped open. So a puppet man appeared from one of the books and he was really pissed off that he was locked up for so long. He decided to destroy the world as a revenge against the father. Hey, the world is innocent, why don't you just torture only the father and not the rest of us? But the puppet man released all the monsters from every single book and when the father wanted to stop them, they were stopped by some dwarfs, which they then escaped. Once they are on the street, they realize the houses were destroyed by the monsters and so to rescue the world, the father planned to write another book which will send all these characters back into that book. But the father also said that it has to be the supernatural typewriter for it to work, which the typewriter is now a display object in the school. Therefore, they started driving to the school. A prayer mantis show up, they escape. Werewolf show up, they escape. As they take another route to the school, the female character's shirt was hooked and the male character helped her. Just like that, they fell in love. Guys, take note, that's totally how you pick up girls. But the moment the moonlight shone on her, the female character turned blue and the male character realized that she was a character in the book. At this moment, zombies started climbing out of the graves to be their third wheel and they escaped. So, they found the typewriter and the father was going to write the story. The rest of them went to the school hall to warn the innocent people what's going on outside and the praying mantis monster cooperated and snatched a human away. So now everyone is convinced that they are indeed monsters outside and started panicking. Realizing the father's plan to suck them back into a book, the puppet then showed up to crush his finger with the typewriter. Luckily, the male character showed up on time and the puppet man ran away. As the whole school was chased out by monsters, they ran to the roller coaster. The father came up with a brilliant idea that he was going to be the straw man to distract them while the male character gets to write the story. So the male character went into the roller coaster and channeled out the inner novelist that he didn't know he had. This novel would suck all the monsters back into the book. But the male character hesitated, he didn't want to open the book for it will also suck the female character in. But being the female character, she thrilled open the book anyway and kissed the male character goodbye. Male character was depressed for a while but when the father showed up with a book, he summoned the female character and once she appeared, they started making out. The father burned the book so that she can stay in this world forever. This story teaches us that if you are single, 
You just need to be a magician novelist to summon your girlfriend or summon Pikachu and solve our world's renewable energy issue so you can be richer than Elon Musk.